What's up, Virgo? This is Soul from Intuitive Tarot, here to look at your week ahead, starting October 21st, 2024. Virgo, I hope all is well. This week, I'm using the Bohemian um, Gothic Tarot to deliver your uh, messages. Now, I'm not reading reversals, but for some strange reason, these cards are showing up in the reverse. Some of them are, and I don't know how I did that. But anyway, if any card shows up in the reverse, I'm just going to read it in the upright position. Also, to complement your uh, messages for this week, Virgo, I'll be throwing one card from the Halloween Oracle, reading the passage from this book directly. Okay. And so with that said, let's clean or cleanse the energies from um, Leo's reading, their messages for the week. What is coming up for Virgo? What does Virgo have to look forward to? Oh, uh, before I forget, I have been I forgot to mention it in Leo's video. Uh, Virgo, please exercise your right to vote. Uh, it's important. Um, get out there and vote. It doesn't matter what party affiliation you belong to. Just don't sit by idly and think that your vote does not count. Or make a difference. It really does. Okay. This election for some people, many people, is very important. So get out there and vote. Anyway, energies for that was my PSA. Uh, messages for Virgo. What's going on for Virgo this week? You know, I'm doing this reading while football's on, and I, <laughs> I just had to work this weekend, so I got caught up. I like to get these videos out before I even start the weekend, but just didn't turn out that way. I've just been so busy. Anyway, let's cut these cards here and start your messages. All right, here we go, Virgo. The first card is the Seven of Wands. So the Seven of Wands is my card that I regard as um, standing your ground. If you don't follow through with decisions or actions this week, then the Seven of Wands is a reminder of the regret that you may face. So always follow through whatever you're, you, you know, you decided upon or the actions that you wanted to take. Okay, and then you shouldn't have any problems if you do. Seven of Wands on top of the Seven of Wands here. Now we have the uh, ooh Three of Swords. Okay, Three of Swords is here. And basically, the Three of Swords is not going to be for everybody, but it does show up um, for somebody who will understand and recognize why it's here. So the Three of Swords here just reprimands grief, sadness, uh, heartache, separation. Could be, you know, three painful choices or decisions to make regarding family members, romantic partners, or could be friends. Um, could be, you know... Uh, related to some couples that are still together, but there may be some distance that separates you that brings on the grief. The doves here could represent pets that get lost and the family is left grieving, uh, grieving. Third party in play when it comes to romance. So, yeah, pending divorces, divorces. But it also could be anything related to uh, some sort of painful stuff, okay? It doesn't always have to be um, the things that I say because, you know, many people have written in to say that um, when the Three of Swords showed up for their sign for that week, it meant something totally different, but it was a source of some sort of uh, pain for them. All right, so following the Three of Swords here, now we have the Four of Cups. So socializing, celebrating, uh, even number of cups, interacting with family members, friends, romantic partners, having a great time. Could be in the form of eating out at restaurants or diners. Hmm. Up next now we have the Page of Cups. Page of Cups. Now we have the Three of Swords. It mirrors over to that. So instantly when it comes to pregnancy, I always say someone could be, if it's not, you know, someone that you know, or I'm sorry, if it's not someone that, yeah, if it's not you, then someone that you know could be going undergoing cesarean section. Otherwise, this still could be a uh, job offer uh, for some of you. Also could be um, related to a Virgo who may have entered into a relationship and it's less than 30 days old. It's still fresh. It's still new. On top of the page of cups, now we have the high priestess. So it's important for you, Virgo, to trust your intuition this week. Um, opposites attract. Also, you may be shielding secrets from someone or someone is shielding secrets from you. The other thing here, too, uh, that's most important to grasp and remember 
uh, Virgo, is that there may be something that you need to have a little bit more patience with or about. Okay, that would be the high priestess. Following the high priestess, now we have the emperor. The emperor is a major arcana that represents you having the ability to maintain control. So you'll have control this week over self, not in the form of controlling others or being in a manipulative state. Um, this is a card that represents leadership, uh, authoritarianism, uh, boss mode. So it still could be in the form of a promotion for someone being asked to lead over others for others. <laughs> okay. The character here always uh, connect to someone that could be a father figure to Virgo down there over in spirit, just coming through to acknowledge they may have worked and served some time in the courts or served time in the military. Also, to the uh, emperor could represent there's some sort of court dealings that could be going on for Virgo this week, or you could be working in the capacity of the courts. Next up, we have the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is always those people from your past that are just nuisance. They may be lingering around. This could be friends that you disconnected with. It could be family members that you have distanced yourself from, or it could be exes that were romantically inclined. These people are still up to no good. They have not resolved any conflicting energies. And you have the high priestess here to help you to discern. So it's always, uh, you know, beneficial for you to pay attention to your intuition, that gut feelings. You've got to go with the gut or the inner voices. They're what's guiding you to do what is right. All right. Also, for some uh, Virgos this week, it could be a return of material things that you thought you lost, put down, misplaced. That energy always resurfaces with the Seven of Swords. All right, so on top of the Seven of Swords here for you, Virgo, now we have the moon. All right, so the moon is here, and the moon is all about that intuition, just like the high priestess. Okay, so definitely pay attention to the um, moon's energy and trust the process. How, excuse me. However, the moon reveals whatever the high priestess has been shielding. So things become illuminated. Um, secrets come to the forefront, things that were once hidden from you, they come out. Likes and crushes that may be associated with the moon's energy, they come forward. Also, too, there's a uh, greater or yeah, greater dedication of love and support um, either coming your way or you're outwardly pouring it to others. Trusting not only your intuition, but balancing your emotions, because this moon has a tendency to be tricky at times, Virgo, uh, sending our emotional state up too high or sending it down too low. We don't want either. We just want to maintain or strike a balance in the middle. A cycle of energy is moving away from you and a new cycle is about to enter. OK, that would go on the seven of swords. So definitely trust yourself when it comes to these people from your past that are up to no good. Then we have the four of swords. This is rest, relaxation, rejuvenation, taking a break, quieting your mind, reclaiming your independence. Some of you may be planning future trips. Now, if we get um, movement cards here, then, you know, not only planning trips, but executing that trip this week. So, yes. This could be just taking a day off from work, just, you know, whatever the energy could be, uh, you know, within you or surrounding you that's building up. This card comes here just to remind you, quiet your mind, rest your brain or whatever. Take a rest from whatever it is that is leading up to some sort of, you know, greater anxiety. Then we have the Wheel of Fortune. So you have luck on your side all week. Will of, I think the Will of Fortune was Taurus's uh, major arcana. I'm not really sure. But anyway, the Will of Fortune, uh, fate and destiny. So you could be somewhere and you're fated and destined to have something auspicious occur. Usually that's positive. The characters here, it looks like um, he or she is getting a tarot reading. So some of you could be, you know, paying professional people to get tarot readings or you're a tarot reader yourself. Um, this is one of my big money cards. So if you're the risk taking Virgo and you like to gamble, just play responsibly, um, you know, because this is big money. What was unfortunate for you may turn around and be in your favor this week. Stroke of luck. 
All right, next up is the Three of Pentacles. So again, this could be a small pay raise, being introduced to somebody new, workplace attraction. Um, so the energies go up for the 21st. By Wednesday, the 23rd, maybe there's some sort of recognition that comes your way. This is usually the completion of a project, whether it's involving your work and collaborating with other people, or it could be outside of work and you're doing all of this on your own. So, yeah, a thank you, congratulations, job well done. That type of energy coming your way by Wednesday. Okay. Up next here for you, Virgo, we have the nine. You have the nine of swords. Okay, so you're about the fourth sign that's received the nine of swords here. This is over thinking a lot about a situation, person, or event. Nervous anxiety. Um could involve, uh, you know, depression. Normally, it relates to a feelings of betrayal, feelings of shame, feeling of psychological abuse, emotional abuse, mental abuse. Could also be physical abuse. Uh, unresolved energies from your uh, distance or recent play, uh, past. Okay. Now, I always say that if the Nine of Swords is not what you're experiencing this week, then it could be someone that you're connected to. And of course, it'd be someone who's incarcerated and there would be their nine of swords. But there is some source of energy here of having to discuss whatever is creating a, um, a source of conflict for you. But you can also look at the four of swords as a reduction of having to work on anything internally or externally that you're conflicted about. Seeking some sort of relief here. I always talk about prescription medication to deal with anxiety, to deal with depression, or non-prescription medications to deal with those things. And you're drinking, smoking weed, smoking cigarettes, or whatever to help you through the days or the nights of whatever is creating the conflict for you. All right, following that here for you, Virgo, now we have the... Um, King, oh, I'm sorry, it's the Knight of Pentacles. So this is uh, one of my financial independent cards. Either you're striving to be or you already are. This still could be a job offer, could be a business, some sort of business contract. It could be just the attributes of how people view and see you in terms of your dependability, your reliability. Always being there for them doesn't always have to result in um, helping them when it comes to money. Or the Knight of Pentacles could indicate that uh, for some Virgos that your financial situation is on good standing ground. On top of that, we have the King of Swords. So this is a card that represents communication. Very decisive and very action-wise. There's something major you're about to do this week. Um, and the king may have communicated his wishes or his intents by clearing up some sort of confusion, uncertainty, fears, or doubts centered around a situation, person, or event. Last card I have for you is the uh, Two of Pentacles. Okay, so it still could be a small pay raise coming in here for some Virgos this week. Juggling two things, an interest in two things, could be working two jobs. The most simplest thing that comes out of this is balancing your checkbook, okay? I wouldn't worry about the Two of Pentacles too much. Just a little minor juggling act. All right, so this is what I have for you this week, Virgo. Um, I invite you guys to, you know, you don't have to be a professional tarot reader or you could be an amateur or beginner and just see how your week turns out based on the cards that I have thrown for you and, you know, compare them or not compare them to the messages that I have just to see what happens for you. Okay, because I always, you know, tell you guys that what I say is not something that's written in stone. I'm only giving you potential energy of what I feel that has the possibility. All right, so a Halloween Oracle message for you, uh, Virgo. Now, I, um, I was saying in another video since the uh, Taurus was the other video that I had did, and I couldn't figure out what their uh, major arcana was that was connected to them. And I ought to be ashamed of myself because I've been reading tarot for years, but it just couldn't come to me. But anyway, um, Aquarius, uh, Aries, Pisces, Gemini, Cancer, all received their major arcanas. And I said, you know, at the beginning, if your major arcana shows up in your spread, then your... Um, representing you, then your uh, messages for the week are going to be that much more powerful. 
okay? Anyway, so you didn't get the hangman here, so um doesn't necessarily mean that you're not going to have an extraordinary week. All right, so now you have the black cat. So you're the fourth sign that has received the oracle, Halloween oracle, the black cat. The message here says fortune meets opportunity. And this is very positive, uh, Virgo, because um, cancer received it. Uh, a couple other signs received it. It's about luck, being lucky or feeling lucky. All right, so I'm, it's a long, uh, lengthy passage, so I'm just going to capture what I feel uh, is important for you to know. Should the slinky black cat cross your path through this oracle, know that good luck and fortune, you got the will of fortune, right, will be meeting you promptly. Also know that your luck will be even luckier if you are prepared to take advantage of every spe uh, special opportunity that comes your way. Black cat. Okay. So this is what I have for you this week. Um, Virgo, remember, it's just me. Take what's going to work. Leave the rest alone. Please like the video. Share the video. Comment on the video. You guys have a safe, great week ahead. Always come back to get more of these messages from me. And I will talk to you soon. Ciao.